Chicano out in paradise. And I was just wondering when you guys were going to start looking into people's soul. When are we going to start looking at people's soul? When are we going to be guided by the Holy Spirit? And when are you going to allow yourself to be guided by the Holy Spirit into seeing people's soul? You can see people's soul through their speech. You can see people's soul through their your conversations with them. You can see people's soul through their music. Um, so why can't you see like, why can't you appreciate people that you see in your day-to-day -day life for that special soul that they have? We're, we're caught up in outer appearance. We're caught up in their status. We're caught up in how much money they have. We're caught up in how beautiful of a body they have. We're caught up in their gorgeous eyes. We're caught up in the nice car that they drive. We're caught up in their mansion, their beautiful home. We're caught up in their material things. But at what point do we start prioritizing a person's soul? Um, I think the more we focus on the material things, we lose a little bit of our own soul in the process. Um, I think that we should go back to the times when we were looking into people's soul as potential mates, um, because only then will we truly be able to see what God wants us to see, which is a person on the inside that radiates love, that radiates genuineness, authenticity, instead of outer appearance, instead of physique, instead of fake this, fake that, you know, all that. God doesn't want us to be focused on that. He wants us to be focusing on the inside of a person. So I urge you guys to take a step back, analyze the type of life that you're living and how you're engaging with people and who you follow on Instagram and who you subscribe to on YouTube and the message that they're pushing and whether it's of superficiality, if it's, you know, fakeness, you know, all that. Like, what are they trying to, you know, bring you closer to? A superficial lifestyle where we're focused on, you know, the outer appearance of things, on status, you know, status symbols, you know, things like that? Or are we trying to reconnect with God? Because I really do believe we are in a special time in terms of our relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So many of us are going back because we're tired of this world. We're tired of this world. <laughs> it's BS. And so many of us are connecting again because God is coming, guys. God is coming. We're living in special days. These are special times. So I urge you guys to re-examine yourself, re-examine your life. Start cutting out people in your life that are still focused on the bad things, that are still focused on superficial things. Stop and start unfollowing people on Instagram. Stop, you know, unsubscribe from things that lead you in the wrong direction, you know, and start focusing on what matters. And what matters is God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you put him first, you will be guided in the right direction. You stop, you pray, you listen to his guidance, you let him guide you, you act, and that's that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this message. Stay tuned for more. Love you guys.